let's have a look at a key micro diagram of the concept of the shutdown price. Now, the shutdown price is essentially the minimum price a business must get to cover its variable costs in the short run. Indeed, if the market price falls below that level, the firm might actually lose more money by carrying on and lose less money by shutting down some or all of their production. So the formula is that you need to cover the minimum of average variable cost in the short run. You need a price which covers your variable costs. A firm might be making a loss, but as long as it covers its variable costs like wages, inputs, energy, raw materials, it might continue to operate in whole or in part in the short run. But if it can't cover those costs, shutting down actually might help to bring down losses because it avoids paying variable costs. It just loses, or we assume they lose, the fixed costs. So, for example, in farming, if the market price of wheat collapses and drops below the basic cost of seeds and fertiliser and labour, uh, then the farmer might decide to leave fields fallow for a season rather than planting and operating at a bigger loss. Airlines can often have very low loads, very low passenger uh, capacity utilisation. So they may well cancel one or more flights with very low passenger numbers, numbers if the ticket revenues don't cover, for example, the basic cost of the landing fees the fuel and the crew costs. Well, here's an example of uh, a situation where a firm might consider shutting down. The profit maximising output is Q1. They can charge a price P1 at that output, but that price is below the average variable cost. So they're not even covering their variable costs, let alone the fixed costs. So P1 AC1 shows the loss per unit if they carry on producing. AC is that loss per unit. Whereas if they shut down, they only lose the fixed cost. So the loss per unit would be AB. So if price is below average, average variable cost, in theory, firms may shut down. They don't always, of course, it depends on whether the price is uh, artificially low, maybe there's been a recession. Do firms have profits to sustain losses in the short run? In the long run, firms must make at least a normal profit we build the opportunity cost of capital into the average cost curve. So in the long run, firms need to cover all their costs. Price must be at least equal to the minimum of the average cost curve. There we go. Uh, it's an important diagram, particularly in areas where businesses are shutting down some of their operations, loss-making firms. So that's the diagram on the shutdown price.